Hi lovelies, Kari Busana on my YouTube channel. My name is Glenis Mina. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're new here, if you're a returning viewer, when do you when do live say by the no siam viewer? Especially now that it's a new, bright and beautiful year. Oh my gosh, we're so grateful for the opportunity to make it this far. So I hope you've said a little prayer. You've thanked the big man upstairs for making it this far. So in today's video, pause. I should probably tell you why I'm doing this video. In case you're new, I do videos on law school and so much more. And if you're trying to figure out the law school system in Kenya, I'm your person. I got you. I think about practicing law here in Kenya. I have done a ton of videos. I will link them up here as the video continues. And I'll link them in the description down below. So you should probably go binge watch those. And if you've been watching my videos, then today's video is basically drawing a comparison between undergrad and the kenya school of law so undergrad is where you get your llb kenya school of law is where you get your diploma so a lot of people don't know the difference so i'll try and highlight a few differences that you should probably know and will help you in determining whether or not you should go to kenya school of law so let's get into it <laughs> first i said this before when you do your llb you become a lawyer when you do your kenya school of law you become an advocate how is that different i've done a whole video that explains that so please go watch it i'll link it up here and down below secondly undergrad takes four years here in kenya and kenya school of law takes 15 months so 15 months is nine years in i mean sorry nine months in school and six months for pupillage. Again, I have talked about this in the whole video. Why does it take longer to do your undergrad and a shorter time to do Kenya School of Law? Undergrad is where you have the foundation set. So you do the core units and you do about 56 units in uni. That's what I did when I picked my uni. So um, it depends with your uni, you could do more or you could do less. So this is basically establishing a foundation in the law and then when you get your bachelor's you become a lawyer you're given the power to read and write so you can do everything that pertains to being a lawyer when you go to the kenya school of law the nine months are basically about things that you have already studied about at the at the undergraduate level at your university but you now learn the practical aspect so for instance in undergrad you learned that one way of instituting a suit in civil procedure is a plaint and maybe you looked at the example of a plaint but at the kenya school of law you will be taught how to draft a plaint so kenya school of law is very procedural it's very technical you learn those technical loopholes now another thing is when you're doing your undergrad you do exams every semester this doesn't change with kenya school of law in kenya school of law you do three exams within the nine months so after the first month you do your project work which is not out of 20 after the second three months you do your oral examinations and after the last three months you do the bar exam now note these three exams contribute to your final grade so if you get to out of 20 out of 20 and then the bar exam is so the other thing you'll notice is with undergrad there is a first class honors a second upper a second lower and a pass at kenya school of law it doesn't matter it is only a pass that will be written and it's called a p so in case you've had people saying oh i want to get all nine p's it's basically saying i want to get all nine passes so it doesn't matter if you got an 80 or if you got a 51 you're all just gonna be told you got a p which is a pass so in real sense at the kenya school of law it's the equivalent of what happens in medicine in medicine they just tell you you've passed so the kenya school of law they won't be at your first class or a second upper it's just gonna be a pass <laughs> Final thing that I need to mention is at LLB level, law school is intense. I did a whole video on how to survive law school, but I need to warn you, Kenya School of Law is more intense. So you thought law school was intense, this is more intense because you are going to be doing nine units in nine months and the course outline is going to cover things you've done since undergrad. So that's a lot of ground to cover. So if you're thinking about going to the Kenya School of Law, please make sure you're mentally and psychologically prepared. There are so many videos about Kenya School of Law, about the horrors of Kenya School of Law, about the journey. If you feel like Kenya School of Law is for you, then you should definitely, definitely do it. Prepare yourself psychologically. If you feel it's not, the thing that you're going to be missing out on is you cannot practice in court, you cannot commission, 
you cannot notarize um basically all the fancy stuff that advocates get to do so the people who finish with the undergrad and they feel like they're good they are equipped however with the kenya school of law there's various advantages because a lot of people when they are advertising for these positions they say that you need to be an advocate of the high court of kenya so it's probably something you should think about you don't have to do it immediately you could take a break after llb but a lot of people take breaks and then they're like i don't need to do it so if you have the energy do it while you and can and that is it for this video that is the difference between undergrad and kenya school of law if you like this video please 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 give it a thumbs up comment down below on anything i may have forgotten to mention because there's a lot of differences of course and subscribe to my channel if you haven't please do hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and be made aware of anytime i post new videos that's it for this video bye